What's the story? The finger changing, window is coming, pyjama is on, so yeah. What? Guys, I had my haircut. Look. Huh? Amazing. Look, look that style. So, we are on the way, uh, poor Sean is already sitting in the park and I'm about 30 minutes away. So let's call it running on Spanish time. This is where I live, basically. Uh, this is Pueblo Sec, which is a beautiful little neighbourhood. And you're probably going to see it all the time, because it's how I get to everywhere. So this is the skate park, which is right beside my house. It's absolutely sick, like, I'm not much of a skater at all, I just get from A to B. Um, but the art here is unbelievable, man. Like. They change it pretty much every day. I'm not really sure of like say, let's call it an underground rule of when your stuff gets erased by someone else. Cause they just paint over each other's stuff. But it seems to be quite political, whatever's going on at the moment um, is what gets put on the walls. So it's dope, but it's cool anyway, it's cool to see. I checked maps, it is 20 minutes on the metro and it's 23 minutes walking. So we're gonna reach three more minutes late for Sean, but it's gonna be a nicer walk. Um, and also I want a coffee, I really need a coffee. One thing I've noticed actually, so like back in Dublin, there's, I feel like there's a Starbucks everywhere. And in some cases there's like one on one side of the road and another one on the other side of the road. Over here, I have, I've only seen like two or three in the whole city and I have no idea why the only guess I can make is that perhaps they can't compete with the prices. So at home, I think an Americano was probably like three euro, something like that. Whereas here, an Americano is like a euro and a latte is like 125. So I just feel like they can't compete with the price, which is epic. And the coffee here is so much nicer anyway. Um, <clears throat> I'm not hating on Starbucks, like some people love it and that's totally cool and it is a nice place to sit down and get your work done I guess but yeah anyway so that's cool so I need to find somewhere for coffee I don't know where maybe this place you have a coffee machine yes they do so let's go in here Wendy uh get a uh Like I said, 125 cafe con leche or latte, uh, which is sick. She was lovely. I don't know if affordable is the right word, I don't know, but anyway, I think the cost of living here uh, is, is, is much less than Dublin in general. Definitely one of the reasons I left. Um, because as I said, like right now, I'm searching for a job, like I had a job before and at the moment I'm unemployed so I'm still writing music starting to try and make videos obviously with this as well but have no current source of income so 125 coffee suits me just fine at the moment so this building behind me that thing is the post office it was a pretty banging post office if you ask me uh, although the GPO in Dublin is big too but yeah it's absolutely enormous I went inside to post a letter to my friend Steph it was in Nottingham at the moment, so shout out with Steph. Um, man, it's unreal, it's like, it's a stupid thing to say, it looks like the Sistine Chapel, but it's not, it's just the post office. Um, like the, the walls are beautiful, the ceiling's incredible. Um, the staff's really friendly, so there is that as well. So, I'm still late for Sean, uh, I'm still 10 minutes away, and I told him that about 20 minutes ago, so I hope he's not too long. Okay, 
Okay, so we're here, only about 30 minutes late. Uh, but now I have the issue of finding poor Sean because his exact description was uh, left of the strip, midway, beside some trees. And, I mean, which trees? You know, could be any of these trees. So he claims to be beside the water somewhere. I'm near the water, near the trees, and now I'm looking for some Myers fella with a guitar, uh, who's not me, or half the population of Barcelona, because it's literally Ireland and England 2.0, and everybody here is fucking Irish. This is him, and we found him. What's the story? What's the story? Say hello. And you must be Sam. What's the crap, man? How are you? I'm alright. Good to meet you. Yeah, yeah, good to meet you too. Love it, we've got a speaker. Man, they're huge! Yeah, they love it, man. There's a gang of geese. They look friendly, to be fair. I'm digging them. So, it started choking rain. It's absolutely in bits. But, we found ourselves in this little bandstand, which is kind of dope, and an impromptu crowd who do not care what we're doing yet, well, maybe. Here, they probably don't want to be here, um, but we're going to try and have a little jam. So these are these random people. They're there. Yeah, I don't know, it's kind of vibey actually. It's nice, being a bandstand and everything. It's really beautiful. Roof. <laughs> good, good construction work. Good construction work. Sean is actually in construction. Uh, yeah. She didn't always, tell, always she didn't tell me. He's more kitted out than me. Trusty Cube. I use a boss. But listen, we can fight about it later. It's been coming for some time. So, Sean turned out to be Italian, quite a philosophical fella, um, yeah lovely to meet him, we ended up, it started lashing rain, pissing down, uh, which was an absolute buzzkill, because he had like a mat and a speaker and it was nice, but then we saw, we found a bandstand, there's a bandstand in Park to Dodella, uh, so we popped into there and started having a jam, but then because of the rain, there was like loads of people who came in, um, so we had a little play, uh, which was cool, <laughs> a little play, kids on a play date um, no we had a little jam and then actually two other guys uh, popped in a German fella called Ralph who was learning guitar and then a French fella who is traveling Europe and is just like bopping around he doesn't know how long he's here he could leave tomorrow or he could stay a few weeks and he just wants to do the whole of Europe um, and is also learning guitar so he popped in and the four of us just had a chat and it was super chill it was nice like getting out for this kind of thing like if I hadn't come out today I feel like trash right now, like um, the vaccine uh, yesterday has kind of knocked the wind out my sails, but listen, we're grand. Um, so yeah, and if I didn't come out, like people just ended up turning up with a guitar and um, we're like, hey, can we join you? So it's a, it's a cool buzz here.
are almost home. I do not know what this video looks like because I'm really bad at the camera settings on the phone. So I have no idea. But before we get home, we need to go to the Holy Grail of Barcelona, which is of course Lidl, because uh, I'm starving. And man, that vaccine, like, what the hell? I'm just having a wind. We're all allowed to have a little wind. If you ever feel like having a wind, have a little wind. Wind feels great. Um, so, little is just round the corner. Actually, my little, I'm gonna be honest, my little in Pablo Sec, it's kind of trashy little. It's little, it's little after a rough night out. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's not peak little. Dublin little is really good. Especially Shankill little. Shankill little is like top notch. It's really nice. Um, the Aldi here is a level up. Now I haven't been, actually I have, I've been to another little um, near, their little is lovely. It's really, it's like, it's like little, little and like in a, in like at a communion event, you know, where their little cousin is getting christened and they've worn their best dress, you know, to be at the christening. It's like that kind of a little. Anyway, it's almost here. So I don't know what we're gonna eat. I have a feeling I'm just gonna buy some oven pizzas because pizza's life. Little is life, pizza's life. So let's see, let's see. 